In this tutorial, we are going to create SkyFi scene using advanced VFX and compositing techniques in After Effects. Go to Sketchfab and download this 3D model. Download link is provided in the description. Download this in FBX format as we are going to use Element 3D which supports only OBJ format. So open Blender and convert the FBX into OBJ format. Go to file and import the FBX model. Then select export and click on OBJ. Then click on export OBJ wavefront. Now open After Effects and import your video. Now drag this on the composition box. I am using this free video from Pixel's website. Link is in the description. Sixteen seconds is enough for me. Press N and select trim comp to work area. Now apply Mocha AE to track the video. Draw a rough mask where you want to track. Then click on track forward. Then click on track backward. Now save the file, then close it. Now open tracking data, then click on create tracking data. Create a new null object, rename it to pillar1 null. Now select export option to transform. Export layer to pillar 1 null and click on export. Now this null will follow along with the tracking data. Now create a new solid layer and apply element from video copilot. Then click on scene setup. Now go to file and import your 3D model. Set alignment to bottom. Now increase the scale. Now for the glow material, I will change the material. And set the color to blue. Turn off the first three materials and rename it to core. Now duplicate the model and rename it to body. Turn on the visibility of first three materials. Now set body to aux channel 1. Then click on OK. Now in custom layer under texture set the video as the environment. Now change the environment to the custom texture map. You can adjust brightness, contrast and saturation values according to your need. Now turn on shadows, ambient occlusion and motion blur. Then turn on glow and adjust the glow intensity and radius. Now 
Now apply curves and unsharp mask set amount to 80%. Now do some color correction on the 3D object. Now pan this layer to the pillar 1 null. Now open group 1, box channel, channel 1, rotation, press alt and click on the y rotation. Then type time into 200 to add rotation. Now adjust the position on the top of the pillar. Increase the size. Now create a new parallel light and adjust the position. Position it such that light is falling from the right side from top. Change the intensity and color of the light to slightly match to the background. Now enable fog and adjust the fog opacity to closely match to the scene. Now apply tint and set amount to 20%. Adjust the glow amount. Now this 3D object will follow along with the video. But the rotation value is not properly aligning with the background. For that, in particular replicator, in rotation add keyframe on set rotation, go to end of the timeline and set rotation to align properly with the buildings. Now easy is the keyframes. Increase the size. Now create a new solid layer and apply saber effect. There are lots of preset. I am using the mist. Set composite setting to transparent. Then adjust the core size, end size, and start size. Now pan this layer to the pillar 1 null. Now adjust the end and start points. Now copy the same color. and paste here. Set end offset to 0. Then add a keyframe and press U on the keyboard. Then go to few frames forward and set it to 100%.
Now increase the scale and again adjust the start and end points. Go to the graph editor and adjust the curve to something like this. Now turn on motion blur. And you will have this effect. Now duplicate the saber layer and change preset to electric. Change blending mode to screen and set core size to 2. Now create a new group null for the pillar 1. Press P. Then add a keyframe at start and adjust the XYZ position. Adjust the position such that it is flying and landing on top of the building. Now drag the saber layer keyframes to adjust with the pillar movement. Adjust the pillar 3D object and saber layer scale to cover entire video. Also add rotation keyframes on saver layer to properly align with the buildings. Now add rotation keyframes on the group null. Once you do all your keyframes on X, Y, Z and rotation, you will have this kind of animation. Now import the heat distortion map. Drag it to the timeline, adjust the position just below the pillar. I am using the heat distortion map to create heat waves around the pillars. Draw the rough mask and feather it around 200%. Now hide this layer and create a new adjustment layer. And apply displacement map. Change map layer to the heat distortion map. Set horizontal and vertical displacement to 3. Now pan this heat distortion map to the pillar 1 null. Slow down the map video and add a keyframes on mask path and adjust the mask as shown. It will create heat waves around the pillars.
now i will add some dust footage align it to the bottom of the pillar one apply cc toner effect and set opacity to 25 percent pan this layer to the pillar one null now create a new adjustment layer for the color control and apply color control Now copy the color and paste it here. Now double click on the glow color of the saber layers. Press alt and click here. Now pan this to the color control. Do the same for other saber layer. Now both saber layer colors is linked with this color control. If you change the color, both saber layer glow color will update. Similarly, I will repeat the same procedure for the other pillar. Track it and create a new tracking data. Apply it to pillar to null. And duplicate the pillar 1 and change the position and pan it to pillar 2 null. Create a new group null for the pillar 2. And change its position and rotation keyframes. Now duplicate the saber layers and pan it to pillar 2 null and adjust the scale and rotation to align properly with the building. Now duplicate the dust footage and pan it to pillar 2 null. Now do the same for the heat distortion map. Now add some sparks and lightning footage around the pillars and pan it to the respective nulls. Apply glow and position it on top of pillars. Now apply lumetric colors and curves for the color grading. I am skipping this part as you know color grading better than me I think. Adjust the glow amount and press 0 to ramp preview. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials.